Hello, this is Noseman from the Mags on the training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to make a pyro wipe using fields and self-igniting fuel. In this document, I have this plane, which is uh, quite heavily subdivided. And I have a vertex map. Now in this vertex map, I have the following elements. I have a random field with uh, a few different settings here. I have a minimum value of 38, max of 100, and I've uh, remapped the curve here to make it a bit contrasty. And at the same time, if I go to the field, you've seen that I've uh, changed it to Luca Noise, uh, higher scale, and a certain animation speed. And this is what it does. Now, on top of that, I'm using the text spline, which is basically just this text, but it's set to mask and a long z so it masks in the z direction so i'm masking the noise and then i have this animated linear field which is masking whatever is underneath it and this is going to create some sort of wipe as you see over here now the linear field itself i've changed the remapping and i'm using this curve here so it fades in and fades out and lastly i use a decay layer and it will allow the values to remain for a while and create this uh, sort of fading out tail. And this is my vertex map. Now, how do I convert this into some sort of pyro? I'm going to go to the plane. I'm going to right click, go to the simulation tags and add pyro fuel. Now I'm going to close the density and the color and the temperature. And in here in the fuel map, which is under this little arrow, I'm going to drag my vertex map. And I'm going to set my fuel type to contingent, which means I want an initial value that will burn away and no new fuel is going to be added. I'm going to set this to a very small value, 0 0.001, and the burning rate to a high number, 1000. Now, if I press play, you will see that the pyro ignites when the values uh, start becoming more than zero. But that shouldn't happen. What I've done here is in the project settings simulation pyro i have gone down to where it says fuel combustion and i've set the ignition temperature from the default of 10 which requires 10 units of temperature to ignite the fuel to a value of minus one and what this does it allows the fuel to self-ignite the moment it's generated and now if i go and turn off the plane and turn off my text i can even turn off all the other elements in the scene. Rewind, press play, and you'll see that whenever the values exceed one, we're immediately going to get fuel that self-ignites and creates this pyro. And uh, there you have it. We have a pyro wipe using fields and self-igniting fuel. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.